Friday, May 19th, we're at the John Penton GNCC round number seven. We're in Millfield, Ohio. And it's Friday evening late, about to cook some dinner. I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on today. You know, that's always going on. But got some steaks on the grill coming soon. The track is gonna be muddy because it already is. It rained this morning. It's gonna rain. Here's, we're right on the track too, y'all. We're right here between mile marker eight and nine. It's supposed to rain tonight, so it's gonna be a mud race. We're just trying to get prepared for that. But look, this is the carnage from Brady and I and Aiden riding today. Um, I'm not that good in the mud. I'm not that good in the mud. I'm slipping and sliding. My balance is not what it used to be. But I've been on the bike more, so it's getting better. I mean, I'm getting much better on the bike. Brady's good on the bike too. He's got the mullet style with the 27 and a half in the rear, 29 in the front. You know how we do. Look, we've got the King Ranch hats out. Repping the truck scene, always. Look at these beauties. I don't know if I've showed these to you. Uh, I know I hadn't enough. So this is Brady's and this is his bike for this year. Race bike, I just got them ready. They are complete. But well, we're gonna put some mud, mud guards on the hand guards because it's gonna be a mud race probably. It's gonna be real muddy for us want to protect those because if your hands get wet or muddy you got no grip if you can't grip you can't race you definitely can't race fast but just got the axis shocks um, dominator rear axle hauser a arms uh it's ready to roll y'all brand new tires here brand new tires there about every two and a half to three races we'll put new tires on the front it just you know you burn through the tires once this once this here loses that edge and when it gets rolled there, it's time to replace it because that grip matters. Sprocket guard, uh, rotor guard as well. Graphics from THC Designs. I think it's the best in the business. I'm partial, but Brady's with the baby blue and the Yamaha blue, to me, it looks the best by far. I think it just hits different. It's a gorgeous quad. And then mine's real bold in your face. This is not really always my style. You know, I'm more of a red guy, but I just wanted to kind of be something bold. Honestly, so my wife, my wife can see me on the track. I wear the neon too, and she said she can pick me out real quick. So I'm, I want, I want my wife to see me out there doing my thing. I want her to feel proud of her man at 38, still getting after it. Man, like never before, really. Wild Willie's custom. You know, you know why Willie spots my bike. You know, you know it's a must right there. Look at that. Man, I'm so proud of both of these units. We've got Brady, another one that we're working on now uh, for the next next season race. And big shout out, Brian Schrantz, OFR Power Sports. He lives like 10 minutes down the road from me. And that's a huge blessing. And he gets stuff done for us super quick too. He's a great guy. That, that's everything. So OFR Power Sports, I don't want you to have him too busy. <laughs> But you can make, you can have him pretty busy. You can make him busy uh, because he does great work, and that's a definite need in this area. Uh, just hit him up for any motorcycle or quad needs. But here we go. This is where we're standing tall. We're ready to roll. Uh, check every bolt. Everything is good. We are money set up, ready to ride. That's our toy hauler. Both of them ride in there, and it works great. It's a perfect setup. You may be asking. I mean, people people here today have come up to me and been like. That's the most basic truck I've ever seen you in, but I really do love it, y'all, because it's my race red. But there's a 23 coming soon. It's gonna be covert edition. It's gonna be on 24s, that's all I'm telling you. It's gonna be on 24s. But look how much we're squatted. This is a 250 Lariat, and I think it's just, I don't, I don't get it. I figured we wouldn't squat this much. I've driven other stock Super Duties with this camper before and it doesn't squat that much. So I don't know, this got 36,000 miles on it. I don't know if the shocks, I mean, the shocks shouldn't be getting, uh, you know, wore out enough for that to squat that much, but you don't know how much this has been towed being a rental vehicle for us. But yeah, the race red is coming soon and didn't bring the big truck this time just because honestly, I wanted to try this out. I wanted to ride a stock truck for a comparison. And honestly, I'm getting about 10.9, 11 miles per gallon somewhere in there, I uh, get like 10. So it's like one mile per gallon difference between towing this 10 inch lifting on 42s or stock. Yeah, so you know what that means. One mile per gallon difference towing something like this, customer stock. 
That just states my case even more. And you know it does. You probably are saying real deal. What you got? Yeah, I'm gonna have a massive fire tonight for sure. But you're probably saying real deal. Why you got KMC wheels in the back back here? Well, uh, Cole Richardson, pro ATV rider. Man, the thing about this is, been meeting phenomenal people. I mean, Aiden Jones and Brooke Brady, they're out riding, they're big buddies. His dad's, they're camping right there. I mean, great people. I, I just love it. I love this race community and, and everyone's been awesome. You know, we've met people locally. We've met people from all over the country. A lot of people ride four wheelers in this area. Uh, Pennsylvania, New York, Ohio, Indiana, West Virginia. Um, so the Southeast, you gotta step up. You gotta step up, cause it's like Aiden and Brady and a couple more kids and that's it. So where are we at? But anyway, let's get back here and show you. Cole, uh, networking with him as a super duty and he's actually coming to me. So he's coming down here soon. I'm gonna have to do a separate video. I'm kind of shooting this live for you right now. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. What you know about that? Dang. So he's running on 37s with that. And he's got a new Kenda tire that he's gonna run. I hope he brings it uh, because I wanna see it. I haven't ran a Kenda very often, but I'd be enticed to check it out and uh, see if we wanna incorporate it or, or run it. I would like just to run it to see what kind of results it gets for sure. Uh, but this is a Lariat truck. It's done. A great job. I mean, you know, besides it being a little more squatted for me uh, than I would like, obviously airbags would fix that as well. But I love the 350 because it gives you a little bit more, give you one more spring in the rear. And so basically it's not squatting near as much in the stock form. But you know, we, we do it custom and we like to fix that by, you know, supplementing more stuff in the back that's better than, than what the uh, comes from the factory. So duh that's why custom's bearing stock every time fire's going on right there y'all and i want to give you a look at the trail and this is not a true representation i mean it's like that right there times about eight deep in the woods it's just like so saturated from the rain this morning but more so it's kind of it's kind of like a rainforest atmosphere <laughs> it feels like there's so much more humidity deep in the woods uh here on this property in ohio but we'll talk about big bucks. Like, you know, this is right down the road from Craig's, Craig Fox and uh, Matt Whiteman, he, where I go bow hunting every year. They're like 35, 45, 50 minutes away from here. So not bad at all. Big buck country. We saw a bunch of big deer on the way up here, uh, feeding late. Uh, but the track so far, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be not a chance. It's gonna be a challenge obviously, but more so just because it's a lot of hilly terrain up down and if we're dealing with i'm gonna walk right here and show you if we're dealing with uh you know it's gonna stop raining right before our race it's gonna be slick i don't know how bad it's gonna be i think the pro race in the evening and then the dirt box will be fine it just comes right up there and actually the trail too shoots down we come around this way mile marker eight and jump out in the field and then back through here lots of hills and uh you know we just gotta be gotta be careful but race with lots of confidence and uh do our best basically gonna, gonna be a gladiator for two hours is what it boils down to so we love it and are pumped up so cole's about to be here to get that i gotta go see my man barbosa as well but i just wanted to i haven't really brought you much when we come to these races and it's become a huge part of our life and it's really just enabled us to have something else to attack and go after as far as you know always working out and always trying to keep the body uh, in great shape but now we like we have a purpose now we have something that we're striving for we want to improve our cardiovascular endurance obviously improve our strength as well i tried at first to not uh, lift as heavy or even as much and do more cardio uh, I guess the first, maybe the third race through the fifth race, that month span, month and a half, that didn't work for me because my body uh, metabolizes and burns fat better when I'm lifting. I, I gotta, I gotta lift. And I love to lift heavy, not too heavy, but still stay good, flex, good and flexible overall. 
but yeah, uh, it's, it's something that we're definitely striving for and just finding that balance of how much cardio, how much running, how much mountain biking, how much lifting, how much basketball playing. I play a lot of basketball too. I love playing at the Y. And now that Brady's driving y'all, you know, Brady's been driving for a while. Uh, man, that, that's, that's crazy in itself too, but I can go to the gym early in the morning and uh, just not know the phone's not gonna ring and get stuff done. That, that means everything to me too. But the weather is beautiful right now, but it rained pretty hard this morning for you know two or three hours off and on. And it's supposed to rain definitely tonight, starting right midnight to like 11. So we're gonna be prepared. I'm breaking out the new Fox gear. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm breaking, breaking it out because it's just gotta, gotta always accessorize and, and look, look the way we, we know, look the part y'all. So the Shepherds are about to get after it. Number seven and 77, Bray's actually rocking the 706 this weekend uh, as far as his new number but maybe uh we'll get some pictures check out on instagram of the cole richardson company get his swag too y'all that's that's big time love networking and helping people and it just means everything that a great guy like that's gonna let us do some work to his truck via wheel and tire combo which makes the biggest difference let's go racing peace out